In this video, I'll be going over how to uh, basically make a dynamic IK chain being controlled by N cloth. Um, so let's start off with the cloth object. So here I go, start with the plane. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take down the height. Just make one inside. The idea is I want to make this edge right here turn into a dynamic curve. Increase my width. And with that, I'm going to take this and go to N-Dynamics, and mesh create N-Cloth. By default, it'll fall down to the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these vertices on this side. The reason why is because when you create your um, cloth object, it'll create the curve from 0 to 1 over here, meaning it goes in this direction, not this direction. If you this direction, your IK handle will be in the wrong location, so you want to make sure that you pin this side. So I'm going to go right here, select these vertices around this side, and I want to go underneath, where is it, end cloth, I'm going to click this little button here, that'll pin it, that way when I press play, it'll start dropping from that location, and you are basically able to move this around and animate the piece of end cloth. The next thing I'm going to do is going to change the time frame, so it's like 5000, and I'm going to press this special play button, that way I can move it around. You see how the end cloth moves already? Pretty interesting, basically how it normally moves. The next thing I'm going to do, though, is um, let's move this back to where it was. Actually, let's move that back to where it was. Okay. I'm going to create my joint chain following this exact line. I'll go to my top view. And animation, joint. I'm just going to hold V create exactly on top of these vertices. Enlarge the size of the joints so you guys can see it a lot easier. Joint chain. Here it goes. There, it's a little bit larger. It's a lot easier to see it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this right here. Just so it's out of the way and I can select the edges easier. Now I'm going to double click on the edges like so, go to modify, convert, and I'm going to go from, uh, where is it, polygon edges to curves. The nice thing with this is, if I go press 5 right here, and I'm just going to hide the grid right now, and press that play button, you'll see that the, uh, seems like it's being uh, flung, so I'm going to click on this, and there it goes. The curve right there is being controlled by the end cloth object via histories. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to reveal my joints again. So I'm going to go to, to uh, display show all. Have the joints show up. I'm going to, this time I'm going to hide uh, the actual polygon object. Next thing I'm going to do is go to animation skeleton. IK spline handle tool. I want to reset my tool right now. I want to turn off auto create curve because we already have an existing curve. Turn off auto parent curve. With that, I'm going to click on that part right there. Let's select my curve. Now that we have that, this has become a n cloth uh, driven IK chain. So for us play now, you'll see that. It moves just like the end cloth object does. Meaning, if I use this interactive playback, I can click on any of these objects. Plus uh, F8 object mode. And move that around how any, however I please. Meaning, anything that can work on end cloth will now work with your IK chain. You can also get clung up just like end cloth, so remember that. It's just another way to do it. Okay? Definitely a, a new way to approach stuff.